So, here's a nice little intro section to keep in with the theme. Hi everyone, see some nice shots of Cambridge. My name is Georgia and I live in Cambridge in the UK and I work as a genomic data scientist. I love what I do, I feel so blessed to be here and I'm sharing on this channel how I got here, how I came from wet lab biology into dry lab biology, all things learning to code. So stay tuned if you wanna see some of this content and some nice shots of Cambridge and get to have some fun with me along the way. So guys, I'm gonna try to keep this video short and sweet. So let's crack on with the reasons why I love my job in genomic data science. So reason number one, flexibility. Working in data means that you don't have to be in the lab all of the time. So you've got that option to either work from home or come into the office if you want some fun chats with people, or if you've got things to do like, here he is, Monty Python. Like, he won't come up, but things like feed the cat, take him to the vets, um, having that flexibility to work from wherever is more suitable for you is so, so good. And so for my instance, um, relevant Canada mug here. So long story that we'll get into another time, but I was going to be moving to Canada for a PhD. Uh, I had a one-way ticket booked, I had an Airbnb booked, and I was gonna be moving out there this summer. Um, and I can't go anymore, um, but I can still go on my plane and I can still live in my Airbnb and I can just work remotely from Vancouver because my job's amazing and it allows me to do that. So just the flexibility that data gives you is amazing. And yeah, stay tuned for loads of Vancouver content in August. I'm gonna be telling you all things about getting into grad school in Canada because I got into Toronto and Vancouver. So I'm gonna do some, yeah, filming in Canada about grad school things there. But like I said, another, another section for another time. So yeah, flexibility. I can work from pretty much anywhere in the world with an internet connection and get my work done. And that's just insane. You can sofa serve, you could go, I mean, I spend much of my life in Starbucks with an overpriced latte coding away. It's a boss babe vibe, vibe? <laughs> it's a boss babe vibe. Just being able to do your job from anywhere. It feels great. So flexibility, to work from anywhere is something I super, super love about working in data science in genomics. Um, thing number two I love about my job is the fact that I get to work with such, I mean, guys, you are amazing. <laughs> I get to work with such an incredible group of people. And the reason why our group of people is so incredible is because it's such a diverse group of people and that is down to the fact that there are so many routes into data science in genomics so you have people that come from a wet lab biology background like me and then picked up coding you've got people that come from completely computational computer science background and then they learn the genetics along the way you've got people that come from physics chemistry uh, even zoology <laughs> like people can come from all walks of their academic paths and as long as you pick up the necessary skills that you need, then you can do this job. So I think it's just amazing that you get to meet different people that have had different experiences to you. And then when you then come to work together as a group, I forget the actual term, um, and I hopefully I will find a little thing to put here, but when you're trying to build a team, like a successful team, if you have similar people, your kind of area of vision just like stacks up on top of one another. Hey guys, so this is the book where I learned how important having a diverse team is. So it's called Rebel Ideas by Matthew Saeed and it's all about the power of diverse thinking. So 100% recommend this book. It's super, super great. Let me just find the little nice diagram. Oh dear, right. Maybe I should start this bit of B-roll again. There we go. So you have here the model where an intelligent individual has a certain amount of space that he takes up. And then if you hire loads of people from the same background, they're gonna take up similar space because they're a team of clones. However, if you then hire people with different backgrounds and different experiences, that can be known as an intelligent team. I really should have saved the bookmark. Can you tell I'm not a pro? <laughs> Where is it? There we go, no, hold on. Where's that little diagram? There we go. 
Yeah, so then if you then hire a team of rebels, so people who are diverse, you have greater coverage, and therefore, as you can see here, they reveal why when it comes to a complex problem, it's important to work with people who think differently. So, 10 out of 10 recommend, really great book. Love it. Whereas when you have a diverse team, you have like multiple areas that you cover. And like, that's why having a diverse team means that you come up with more creative ideas. The, the vision is flowing. It's just great. So getting to work with these amazing different people across many disciplines, it's just the best thing ever. And it helps you grow and it makes you more appreciative of the fact that there is not one route into science. There are so many routes. So that's, yeah, that's something I'd super, super love about this job. And reason number three why I really love my job, and I think this is just going to be the thing I'm going to end on, is the fact that I don't just work with data. It's not a boring data job. Um, so, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that some people like thrive off just doing the data and working with the tools. And that's, that's awesome. Like, love that for you. Like, no, no dramas here. But the reason why I love working with data in the context of genomics is the fact that what you're doing is contributing to making human health better and that might sound like some far-fetched like oh i want to change the world like i want to you know put something out there that benefits people but genuinely like that is what we do we get genomic data we combine it with other in important information and then we can do data science on the genomics and then draw really important conclusions and create hypotheses around the genetic information that we have, we can translate that into insights and then deliver that to either organizations or sometimes in other jobs like to people through genetic counselors who then understand more about their health and then can make active decisions about their lives or their country's lives or their unit's lives based on the information that we generate. So working in a service kind of unit environment where you get to just generate really important insights about genomics, deliver them to people in the hope that you, well not the hope, like you will, like the information that you generate changes people's lives and the fact that Genomics, like DNA has always been us, been us. <laughs> like genomics itself has been around for ages, but the way that the computational tools are growing is just allowing us to extrapolate so much more than we could ever dream about, about the information that's inside us and inside parasites and microbes and vectors. And there's just so much, there's just a wealth of knowledge that we can get, we can extrapolate, we can deliver it to people and we can help them make better decisions about their health. So that is what I love. To summarize, the kind of job that I work in, you don't feel like a strict academic where you're doing one research project and you're putting it in a paper and you're publishing that paper and you're contributing to the research field. We don't do that. What you get to do in my area is you get to have a problem you get to use genomics to solve that problem and then you help somebody somewhere have a better life because you have directly given them information related to the genomics that they gave you. So I just love the whole massive feedback loop that we get to be involved in that changes people's lives. It's, it's a privilege to be able to use computers in this way to deliver such important knowledge into the world. So, all right. That's me rambling about why I love genomic data science. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this small little video. Wanted to keep it short. Please comment down below the content you want to see because I'm really keen to cater this to you guys. So you guys are the reason why we're doing this. I'm going to be doing a load of things on graduating soon. It's all about you guys. So please comment video ideas. I will make them for you. If you've enjoyed today, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. And I will see you next time on some more installments of Genomics with Georgia.